Hey everybody, welcome back to the Pete Perspective. It is so good to see you and be with you this evening, tonight, wherever you are, whatever time you're watching this. It's a pleasure, it always is. My name is Pete, if you're new to the channel, be sure to like this video, subscribe, and comment. I very much appreciate the kind support and it helps the channel out a lot. Chew on that one, let's begin. <laughs> This video, I don't even know what it's gonna be about. I'm probably gonna ramble a bit. And um, yeah, I, first of all, I should start by saying, I want to make these videos much quicker for myself and easier to produce. And so I'm not gonna edit these anymore as much as I did in the past. Um, I think I was doing a lot of stuff, but with my son, who I'm currently watching through a screen, uh, yeah, I'm on dad duty tonight. My wife is downstairs doing a conference or a gathering, I should say. Um, it's like a woman's conference, virtual. And so I'm just, I put him to bed and I'm on dad duty. So if he starts crying, I'm gonna cut, you know, cut this video and then I'll, I'll, I'll come back and we can try and pick up where we were. But all that to say, I'm trying to make these videos quicker. So I'm not gonna go through and edit all of the little details and take out all of my ums and all these sorts of things because that was something I was doing because it was best practice. But I think that ultimately, I love doing these videos and I just wanna have fun and take the pressure off, right? Like I'm just gonna do an intro and outro and call it a day. So hopefully I can get these out much easier. But today I just wanted to encourage you and speak life into you hopefully. Um, as creatives, right? So I know a lot of creative people. I know photographers, I know copywriters, I know um, illustrators, I know motion graphic designers, I know entrepreneurs, I know people who do all of those things and are entrepreneurs. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about community, I guess. And maybe if nothing else, I just want you to know that if you're struggling with community, I'm definitely right there with you. I, um, I think as creatives at times, we're desperate, um, especially in the last year, but we're just in general, we're desperate for you know a tight knit community of other creatives that we can share our work with and who can speak into us and you know collaborate with. And I think that you know that's hard to find. And if you're someone who has that, man, that is such a gift and you should cherish that and really like just be grateful for that because a lot of people don't have that. And I know in my life, like I can't speak for everyone, but I'll speak for myself. There have been times where I have looked to certain people or circles, let's say, and have tried to like fit in. Um, and more times than not, I just felt like, you know, trying to put a square peg in a round hole. And um, that's just a sucky feeling. It's a sucky feeling when you feel like, you know, you don't know what space, space or like where you fit. That just sucks. Like it really, really sucks. And um, I think if I had to guess, I'm going out on a limb, but if I had to guess, there's a lot of other people that feel that way too. And you know, just not unsure of what kind of group they fit in. And maybe, you know, maybe for you, you have, I don't know. I, I don't even know. Like I genuinely don't know. I just know this is something that I felt in the past and it's kind of hard to like, um, hit the nail on the head and be very, very specific. But, you know, sometimes I wonder like, is it me? Am I the problem? Or like, is it something that I do that maybe annoys people or like that maybe that there's like a reason why we just don't click, right? And so I just, yeah, I just want you to know if you're a photographer, a copywriter, a creative person, that um, community is fought for and it's something that takes time and that uh, honestly you have to like you know I'm not saying you have to do anything because honestly I am just working through this myself so I don't want to come across as like an expert by any means because I am not but I do think that it takes just letting go and like putting yourself out there and just like meeting with someone and if it sucks right if it's awkward if you go and have a beer or a coffee or a cigar or whatever with someone and it's just like not it just feels like forced that's okay right it's almost like dating like you're just you're not marrying the person but like just putting yourself out there and being willing to go out and talk with other people and i know for me personally right now in the season of life that i'm in it's really difficult like 
I it's difficult to go out and to meet people and hang out with them and spend time because I have such limited time and my time is really valuable right now. I come home, I have about 15 to half an hour with my son Theo, hanging out with him and then just trying to be a husband, a good husband and serve my wife well and serve my son and take care of our home, right? Be a good steward of our things. And so it's not easy. It's not, not, you know, it's not easy by any means, but it is so important. And um, there's been times, man, where I was just so hungry for another person to like walk alongside with and to bounce ideas off of that I didn't have. And, um, you know, we go about our lives and putting on this facade and people think, man, that person must be so connected. Like there's times where I genuinely think people must think that I am so connected and so well, like, man, Pete must have a lot of friends or he must have a really, you know, a cool group of designers that he hangs out with all the time. It's like, if that's not true at all, like more times than not, I'm isolated in my creativity. And, you know, I thank God that I can go to work and, and I have an awesome art director who, um, I'm, I'm, you know, have submitted myself to his uh, leadership creatively in a lot of ways, um, and he speaks into me, and I, and I so appreciate that opportunity. And we have other designers, and so I'm grateful for that. But you know, outside of that, there's not a whole lot of creative community like that's happening outside of work. I would say, and work is one of those things too, like. You know, it's not a disrespectful thing, but like sometimes in high school, like we're just with each other all day. So naturally there's going to be some sort of collaboration. It's like when you were friends in high school with someone and, you know, you realize when you leave high school, you're like, oh, we were kind of just friends because we were in the same building all day. Right. Like and um, sometimes that's how work can be, which sucks. I don't ever want it to be that way, but it can be that way at times, um, which is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all, I should say, preface that. Um, but it's a reality. There's some element to it that's true and that's a reality. And so um, whatever that looks like for you, one, you're not alone, right? You're not alone in it. Two, I would just encourage you to put yourself out there, you know, have courage, be bold. And um, I mean, if you want community, you could always come to me. You're welcome here. This is, this is your place too. And that's what the P perspective is for. It's for me to share my perspective, but for you guys to share your perspectives back with me. I've had people hit me up and give me their thoughts on different topics. And so um, I just know the isolation and loneliness that comes with just not having a really strong community of creative people. And also the feeling of not being understood. Like that's really hard too, because people who aren't in this space don't always understand um, some of the the tensions and different things and so it's so refreshing to be understood and so man if you're somebody who's struggling with that I just felt like I needed to come on here and talk to you um, because I want you to reach out to me I want you to let me know what tensions you're experiencing how you're feeling how you're doing um, and then maybe how we can just take a step towards community whether that's with each other or you know whether that's with someone else or something else or we can just talk about it and share ideas on how to do that well and if you guys have ideas please share them in the comments below because i am walking through this i'm trying to figure out who my creative community is what a creative community is right like establishing that because copywriters don't have to have like six other copywriters that they're friends with that speak into their work like in fact i would argue that that could be more diverse you could have a photographer a designer and almost build your little Avengers team of creative community and you're getting just getting fresh different perspectives from all these different types of people and different um, in the creative space but in different like who have different vantage points and so um, yeah let me know how I can be an asset to you and I hope this video if nothing else if nothing else was just encouraging and I want to do more of these videos because I feel led to. I feel like I'm when I'm at work sometimes, I'm like, man, I'll experience something and I'm, I just have to share that because I, uh, I just wanna make sure that if there is somebody out there who does feel lonely or, or just struggles, struggles with that stuff. And you know, I just, I know that feeling and it sucks so bad. And I want you to know that I've experienced it and there are probably a lot of other people that have too. So. 
Anyways, I love you guys so much. I'm so grateful that you would take this time to watch this video. And um, yeah, man, be in touch, stay in touch. I will see y'all later. Catch you in the next video. Bye. That was weird. Goodbye.